Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a Target Dollar Spot haul. Finally, I feel like I've been super impatiently waiting for my Target Dollar Spot to bring out their fall and Halloween stuff. And I still didn't get everything that I want because mine's been so slow. But I got most of what I wanted. So I figured it was haul time. And I'm also doing this video in collab with my friend Valerie from DNB's family. She's also gonna be doing a shop with me as well. So she's doing the shop with me and haul. So head on over to her channel after you watch this video to see her video. And she'll be sharing with you guys everything that her store had. I'm horrible at shop with me is mainly because my Target literally like I'm not lying when I say they are so slow compared to other Targets. I don't know what it is but I have to go back there like 20 times to even get like one thing. It's horrible. They like put things out really slowly and then it goes really fast so <laughs> I literally went like five days in a row I think it was to get the things that I have here. So um, anyways though, I am rambling. I'm gonna let Valerie go ahead and introduce herself here. Hi guys, my name is Valerie and I have a channel here on YouTube called DMV's Family. On my channel you're going to find a variety of motherhood and lifestyle content. I love to cook, I love to share recipes, I do vlogs of my family, I have three children. Um, I also love to do shop with me videos, especially around the holidays, which is what you'll be seeing from me today. So when you're done watching her video, and her haul that she's got, please head over to my channel and see the wonderful goodies that I found as I shopped around the Target Bullseye Playground. I have collabed with Valerie multiple times in the past. I love her. She's a sweetheart and her channel's amazing. So make sure you guys go check her out after this video. If you're coming from Valerie's channel, I just wanted to take a minute to say hi and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to have you guys. Please introduce yourself in the comments down below. I love getting to know you all and communicating with you. And I hope that you decide to stick around. Now let's get into the haul. Okay, so I found this Salem Broom Co. Sign. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. This is actually one of the very first items I found, and this was definitely something that was on my list. So this was five dollars, and there's another variation of the sign as well. Um, but I really love like the whites and blacks with just some pops of orange for Halloween. So this was just perfect for what I go for. That glare though. And then I also picked up one of these little brooms. How stinking cute are these? They're literally the cutest freaking little things ever, you guys. This is $3. There's also a black one that's black and sparkly. And I went back and forth on if I wanted one or both or what. But I have no clue what I'm going to do with it, with it yet. I still haven't even taken out my Halloween decor. So I just don't even know. Don't remember what I have or where I'm going this year or anything. So basically everything I have is just like a let's hope it works kind of thing, you know? Bippity boppity boo. And then I also picked up this little bird cage. So cute. This is $5. And I think that I might have broken it. <laughs> it. It. This video is not going well for me tonight, you guys. We're just going to take the other one out because that's already happened about five times today. And I'm over it. Anyway, got this bird cage. Turns out I didn't break it. It's still shutting. You just got to really press on it. Um, it was $5 and I just think it'll be super cute with a little crow or something in there on the hutch or wherever. I picked up this little box book which I would like to get a few more of these because I think they will be so cute stacked up against each other with something on them or on a tiered tray or so many different ways you can decorate with this. These are only a dollar and they're so freaking cute. Look at like they open, you can store stuff in them. This one says Madame Magica, Magica Book of Witches and that's what the other big sign says too is Madame Magica I believe um, and yeah only one dollar they do definitely have other variations maybe Valerie will show them in her video I'm not sure but this is the only one I've been able to find so far on my target you're probably noticing that I picked up more Halloween stuff than I did fall and that's because they put their stuff out I feel like pretty late this year um, and all my fall stuff's already up so there was just no need for me to get any fall stuff when I'm already decorated for fall. I mean I got a few fall things but for the most part I got all Halloween stuff. So I also picked up this little fabric pumpkin. Again it's just the white and black which is what I go for and they're only a dollar. There's a bunch of variations of these as well. Maybe I'll pick up more of these. Who knows? I might be doing a second Target Dollar Spot haul in the future but for now this is what we got. These little potion bottles are like 
the big thing of the dollar spot this year and although I think they're adorable I only got two because I genuinely don't even know how I'd use these um, they're so cute they really are but they're so little I mean they're the size of my pinky and I just feel like there's not a whole lot of ways I can decorate with these they're just so little I mean I don't really have a lot of areas in my house to decorate but okay anyways rambling again let me show you how cute these are so the front says witches brooms on this one there's a ton of variations i only got two of them like i said but then look at you turn it around and it's actually got little teeny tiny brooms in there you can't say that's not the cutest thing ever because it definitely is and then i also got this pickled bones one this is what it looks like again turned around and there's little bones in there and they're so there's so many noises in my house I'm sorry if you hear my husband playing video games. He's tried to shut him out, tried to tell him to be quiet, but he's still in there being way too loud. Then I got my son over here, who's also just over here being way too loud. <laughs> There's no time to film, ever. So here we are dealing with what we got. Anyway, mini bones, so many different variations of this. Again, so cute, but I don't know what I'll do with them. A dollar piece. Let me know what you're doing with them if you're getting some because maybe I'll want more if I see some ideas. But these are the ones that I personally liked. So I got three different variations of this. I'll show you four, I think, actually. More in a second. These are also only a dollar, and although they don't have anything in them, like the other ones, they're significantly bigger. Like, significantly. Um, and I just think I can decorate with these in so many different ways than I could with these ones. Anyways, this one says spider fangs on it, if you can see that. And it's kind of like a rough material. I really like the feel of it. I don't know why this lighting's making me look orange. This is also why I usually film during the day. But I honestly just made a last minute target run to try and get a few more things to add into this video. Noise, orange lighting, nighttime. We're good though. I got this one that also says bone powder and again it's just like here's the small bone powder here's the big bone powder just significantly bigger again a dollar I feel like I could put these on the hutch and they'd look good where if I put this one on the hutch it's just little and random unless I'm putting it in something we have two more of these so I got this one that says a feather of the raven and then the last one it says poison um, and it's again in like the darker more rough material I also got a grumpy baby good thing my niece is here because she's asking occupying him a little bit looks like she's losing her mind but she's occupying <laughs> okay so then I picked up this candle which you guys how cute it's in a little cauldron so cute and then it actually also like really smells good usually they're candles I don't buy them because they're this one's actually cheaper it's only three dollars but usually they're five dollars and they don't even smell good this one actually smells pretty good this is the pumpkin scent one and it says it says hocus pocus pumpkin on it and it actually smells like pumpkins. So I did pick this up because I think it's a perfect tiered tray piece. I will be doing a Halloween tiered tray decor video for you guys like I did my fall one. Um, and I'm going to show multiple different variations on that. So a lot of these pieces will be used. You'll see. <laughs> if you like the decor videos and you're new here, make sure you press the subscribe button because we got lots coming. Lots of them. <laughs> I'm actually like almost done with my fall ones. I have one more fall decor video coming up on Monday. And then on Sunday, the following Sunday, the 13th, will be my fall house tour. And then we're moving right into Halloween decor. So lots of decor videos coming up for you guys. After that, it'll be Thanksgiving and then Christmas. Like this is the decor season. It's my favorite. Okay, anyways, moving on into the last Halloween piece. I picked up this little happy Halloween banner. I actually just got this one tonight. This was $3 and this is what it looks like when it's out. It's super cute. It's like a burlap material with the black and white twine, some orange in there. Just the exact colors that I really like to go for. So moving on to the few fall items I got. I picked up two of these little mini wreaths. If you guys see these, I highly suggest getting some. They can be used in so many different ways. These are only $3 and these are the two different variations I got. But there's a ton. Again, I'm sure Valerie will show them in her video. Um, I got this one because I feel like I can use it more all year round. Where this one's more fall. They're perfect to put a Bath and Body Works candle. Like that size candle in the inside. Super cute. Um, 
I mean, if I can find a Halloween one, which I'm sure they'll have, like even something like that would be super cute. There's just so many different ways to decorate with these and I just highly suggest picking some up because they usually are things that sell out quickly. I've actually seen mine get restocked though multiple times, so maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> and I also picked up this set of two risers. I thought these were super cute. So these are little palette risers. There's this size here and then there's also the smaller one inside of it. This was $5 for the set of two, but I think this is again something I can use all year round, which I personally enjoy <laughs> getting things that I can use all year round and switch out with my decor. And um, I don't know, I'm more willing to spend in the $5 range if it's something I can use all year round. So just super cute to, you know, raise, raise some things up on, raise the roof, raise the roof. I hate myself, okay. And then, lastly, I found this tonight, so I'm so happy that I went last minute because this is the main thing I wanted, is this super adorable little house tier tray. How stinking cute is this? So many different ways you can decorate with this. Um, yeah, it's just so cute. I definitely can see myself using it around Christmas time with some little trees and stuff. But also, if you're an essential oils person, I've personally never gotten into that, but I could totally see this being like a great essential oil storage piece spices spice storage like so many different ways if you don't want to decorate it with decor you can use a storage super cute is only five dollars again so many different tier trays this fall and i loved all of them but this is the main one i wanted as soon as i saw it i was like that is just so unique and different from the typical tier tray so i'm so happy that i found this and my target was actually stocked with them i was very surprised. So that is everything that I got from the dollar spot and I thought I'd throw this in there as well because last minute tonight I decided to pick up this blanket. Um, it's just a super pretty orange. I feel like on the camera it's showing up like a really bright orange but it's definitely more of like a muted orange kind of. It's a little brighter than that but still. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit more muted than the typical orange. And the inside is this like Sherpa material. This is only $15 and I really want some more color in my living room. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, I need to pick that up. And hopefully this will be the last inside fall piece I pick up because again, home tour is coming and I feel like once I do that, I'm good. Don't need to buy any more decor. Got it on video. We're good till next year. <laughs> so that is the last item that I have in this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to press that subscribe button. And also, please check out Valerie's channel and her video. You guys will love her, seriously. She's a sweetheart. Um, I connected with her when I like first started my YouTube channel and she's just super sweet. You guys will love her, so check out her video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you back on Monday for my fall porch decorate with me video.